Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there's been a terrible train crash in India. Now, that's the headline that Bart Begley has as this, as this was taking place early this morning. Bart Begley's website, of course, the Crusader Journal. Uh, it's www.crusaderjournal.com. But I'm giving you updates uh, within the hour now. The death toll has risen to 107 and there still is as many as another 60 or 70 people trapped either in the train or under the train. This is a horrific scene in India. Uh, just an absolute state of chaos. Uh, it, it, the drama took place uh, in Kanpur, in India's northern state, uh, in which a still... It's it's just an absolute state of chaos there. Again, we're giving you an update on it. This is a very fluid situation. The initial report was at least 60 were dead. That was within the first couple hours of the derailment. But now the death toll is at 107, and there's still about another 60 to 70 people either trapped inside or under the train as it derailed on its side. It derailed uh, almost every car on this huge train derailed. It's a terrible scene. You know, I've been to India and I know how their transportation system works. You'll see a, a train, it will be filled, but then there'll be people hanging out the windows or sitting on top the train. So it's always overcrowded with people and luggage and what have you. The buses are done the same way, packed, and then people hanging out the windows, holding on to the edges, the, the outside of the windows, or sitting on top of the bus as the buses are rolling down the dirt roads or really rough pavement roads, very narrow roads, a lot of scooters, bicycles. And then you'll have cattle crossing or maybe goats. And just, uh, it's just unbelievable uh, how the transportation system there can be very dangerous. So pray for these folks here. Uh, this is a terrible situation. Our hearts go out to them and we're continuing to pray as this train derailment in India uh, has cost the lives of at least 107 and maybe more. I'll be back with more current world events. We're praying right now. We're pleading the blood of Jesus over these uh, that are injured and wounded and these that are still trapped. Also, we're praying for the families of the victims who have died in this horrific crash in India. I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. It's getting chaotic. It's going to get a lot of chaos in these beginning of sorrows, which we're in. You're going to see in the year 2017 will be a year of chaos. And so you need to get things right with God. I'm telling you now before it's too late. He's coming soon.